Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Crisis on Infinite Earths. They've released the first official poster for the crossover. Also, we've got the synopsis for all three episodes that are coming up in the next couple of weeks. Obviously, we have the two after the mid-season. We won't get that yet. Also, we have some massive breaking news to do with Crisis and someone appearing. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year okay so massive breaking news the first poster for the crossover you guys got to get hyped this poster is really really good it has basically mainly all of our main characters who are going to be playing a big role in the crossover obviously it excludes alex lena iris there's a few characters that are missing but you know they can't fit them all in the poster because otherwise it would be too overcrowded and there's like, I don't know, like 19 or 20 characters in this poster already, so it's pretty damn busy. And it's really, really good. Obviously, there's no anti-monitor in it, but we'll talk about that in a second, as to why potentially that may be. And so yeah, let's just overall give my thoughts on this poster, and break down some of the different parts of it. So, leave your thoughts on the poster as well in the comments below, as per usual. And so, yes, yeah, let's go ahead and break it down. So, what we have right at the bottom of the poster is we've got our main lot so we've got black lightning we've got white canary the flash supergirl and green arrow and just behind them we have batwoman so i really like the placement of them and how they're front and center because they are you know the main characters in all our different shows even though you know white canary is in an ensemble show but you know she's really the lead of the show so what's going on is you can see like everything is kind of engulfed in this purple sort of atmosphere and that is in fact the sort of antimatter I, I guess it's something like that but anyway it's a very nice stylistic to have the gradient be purple then it goes up into red then orange and then yellow and so yeah let's break it down so these are all brand new photos apart from like the Superman one and I believe the Jean one is reused and actually massive correction Iris is there I just had the poster like as the small version and I just enlarged it. Iris is there, Cisco's there, that was my bad. I just completely missed that, I don't know how I missed that. But anyway, let's continue on. So yeah, the Supergirl one, I think that's a new photo, I could be completely wrong about that, but I don't recognise it at all, so the cape's like flying around, you can see how big the cape is, and you know, she's got her new costume on, still got the same hair, everything is sort of in line with this new season so it doesn't you know hark back to any past photos so the flash one kind of looks similar to a poster we got recently but I actually think this is a new photo and obviously everything is heavily photoshopped over and that's why it looks a little bit glossy on some people especially like if you look at white canary she's you know got a lot of light on her so it's kind of hard to see like all her facial features and everything like that but that's because it is a photoshop post it's heavily photoshopped and so yeah you've got the flash at the front he's punching he's got his lightning coursing around him same with Black Lightning, he's got his lightning coursing all over him as well. He looks really cool in this poster. Oliver, I think that's a new one, I could be wrong about that, but he's looking really good. Batwoman, this is actually a reused one, I believe, from the past. But, you know, she's front and center, which is, you know, probably, I guess, a bit important. Like, maybe that's a real thing, she's going to be like a massive character in the crossover. She's definitely going to play a big role. Anyway, so White Canary's there, she's got her staff. And right behind her, you have Mick Rory. He's got his gun. I think that's a new photo as well. Actually, the Vibe one is one they used for Season 3, I believe. I think it was a Season 3 poster. I recognize that now. So he's using his Vibe powers. Obviously, this teases the idea that maybe he may return and get his powers once more. We know that in some of the trailers, he's actually wearing his Vibe stuff. So you would have to guess he, you know, got his powers back, maybe. Because why would he wear the suit? Like... Iris is not wearing her old suit, even though now she doesn't have powers, she's not going around wearing that suit, so maybe Cisco does get his powers back. And so then we've got John Wesley Shipp's version of the Flash, the 90s Flash, he's returning in the crossover, we've seen him in the trailer, and I think in a few photos, I could be wrong about that. But yeah, so he's right there next to the Flash characters. Obviously, we've got sections in this poster of different characters. There's actually a lot of Supergirl characters in this poster. So we've got Supergirl, 
we got Lois, we got Clark, we've got Superman, who obviously is Supergirl related, but you know, Brandon Ralph is on Legends as well. But we got Lex Luthor and we got John Jones. So a lot of Supergirl characters and for the Flash they got Barry, you got Cisco, Iris, and the Earth 90 version of the Flash. And then Arrow, you've got Green Arrow, Lila, and that's it. And obviously, you know, you could say White Canary because she originated from the show. But not many Arrow characters on this poster, which is very intriguing. Not Mia. I would have hazarded the guess that they would have put Mia on because she seems to be like a decent part of this crossover, but I guess not. Anyway, so let's move up. So we've got Superman, Brandon Ralph. He is next to Lila, obviously playing Harbinger in this crossover. Then we have Lex Luthor. I'm not too sure if Lex's is a new photo or not, but John Cryer, a very welcome addition to the crossover. And then we got John in the background. This is definitely a reused one. But if you go over to the left, you got normal Superman from Supergirl with Lois. I think Lois is one and Superman, you know, Tyler Hoechlin. I think they're new photos that could be wrong, like I said. It's kind of hard to see because they are really small. And we got a very welcome addition. John Constantine in the poster. That's very exciting to me to see John's going to play a decent role in this crossover because I love John Constantine. He's the best thing about Legends right now because, you know, I wasn't such a big fan of Legends last season and, you know, he's always been great. He's always one of my favorite characters on any show he's on. I love Constantine season one so much, like much more than most people. So, yeah, very exciting right there. And then finally in the background you've got these three worlds, obviously it's a sort of representation of all the different Earths that are going to get destroyed. You've got, you know, it's probably Earth 1, Earth 38, Earth 2, I don't know, well Earth 2 is destroyed, but it could be any Earth, it doesn't really matter, it's just, you know, a few of them compared to, you know, the infinite amount of Earths that could be destroyed. So you've got lightning going up everywhere, sort of light coming from the Monitor's hand, and the Monitor is the biggest thing in this poster. He's behind the Earth, he's behind them, it's like he's controlling everyone. And so you've got sort of cosmic sort of atmosphere, like sort of clouds, I don't know what you call it, in the background just behind him. But yeah, so that's the poster. A really, really freaking great poster. Let's go ahead and go to the synopsis for these three episodes. So the first episode, Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 1, is kicking off with Supergirl on Sunday, December 8th. So this is how it goes. The Monitor sends Harbinger to gather the world's greatest heroes, Supergirl, The Flash, Green Arrow, Batwoman, White Canary, The Atom, and Superman, in preparation for the impending crisis with their worlds in imminent danger. The superheroes suit up for a battle while Sean and Alex recruit Lena to help them find a way to save the people of Earth-38. So the Monitor sends Harbinger to gather all the heroes around the world, you know, all, all around these different worlds, sorry. And so that is obviously where we're sort of going to start. Harbinger, we've seen in some of these trailers, she's been trying to recruit everyone. We don't know if it's actually our version of Lila. I think it actually might turn out to be our version of Lila who the Monitor gives powers, say. And so, this is for preparation of the impending crisis, then they'll all group up at like a base, and they'll be like prepped by Harbinger, basically, for the incoming crisis. And so, with the worlds in imminent danger, the superheroes suit up for a battle, while on the other side, you have Jean and Alex recruiting Lena to help them save the people of Earth-38. So, because this is the Supergirl episode, it's obviously going to focus a lot more on the Supergirl characters, and it says Earth-38. So is Earth-38 going to get destroyed? Lots of people have been theorising about that. I don't think I would really want that to happen. I don't really want them on Earth-1. I like how they're in a separate Earth, but I think that's a high possibility it may happen. So let's go ahead and break down the Batwoman synopsis. So Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 2. This is how it goes. Can the real Clark Kent please stand up? Crisis on Infinite Earths continues with special guest stars Tom Welling, Erica Durant, and Kevin Conroy. The group uses Ray's invention to track new recruits to help save the universe. The Monitor sends Iris, Clark, and Lois in search of a mysterious Kryptonian, while Kate and Kara head out to find Bruce Wayne. In addition, Mia challenges Sarah, Rory discovers a hidden talent, and Lex Luthor returns. So let's break this down. So we have Ray's invention, is going to be able to help them track new recruits to save the multiverse. 
Obviously, that's going to link into Tom Welling showing up, Erica Durant, you know, not playing Kara's mum, but playing, you know, a version of Lois Lane. Also, obviously, Kevin Conroy finding out about Bruce Wayne. But then you've also got the addition of Brandon Ralph's new version of himself, you know, a doppelganger of Ray Palmer, who is actually, in fact, Clark Kent slash Superman on a different Earth. So that's all going to play into that. Then we have the Monitor sending Iris, Clark, and Lois in search of a mysterious Kryptonian, which is going to be, you know, Brandon Ralph's version of Superman. And while Kate and Kara head out to find Bruce Wayne. So... From the synopsis, I get the idea that this version of Bruce Wayne played by Kevin Conroy could be the one who is actually Batwoman's Bruce Wayne. And then also we have the return of Lex Luthor, that's a big thing. Okay, so The Flash, Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 3, this is how the synopsis goes. Black Lightning joins the crossover in the third chapter. Pariah, Tom Kavanagh, enlists Black Lightning to help stop the Anti-Monitor after Earth-90 Flash shares what he learned from his battle in Elseworlds. With the help of Black Lightning, Barry, Sisko, and Killer Frost come up with a plan that could save them all. Meanwhile, Iris has a heart-to-heart -heart with Ryan Choi, Legends of Tomorrow newcomer, while Oliver and Diggle return to an old, familiar stomping ground. Okay, so Pariah is in this episode, and we have the introduction of Black Lightning, and we have John Wesley Ship returning as Earth-90 Flash, so he's going to be playing a part and it seems like this episode is heavy on the flash and black lightning and obviously you got pariah tom Kavanagh's part of the flash so he's going to be a big thing in this episode so he's actually going to be enlisting the help of black lightning in the comics pariah doesn't enlist the help of anyone he warns everyone but it seems like you know harbinger is going to be playing more of that role in this crossover so very exciting to see black lightning show up and so, you know, Earth-90 Flash is going to be telling everyone of what he learned with his battles in Elseworlds. And so, additionally, you got Barry, Sisko, and Killer Frost come up with a plan to save them all. Also, with the help of Black Lightning, so that's going to be a big thing. And Iris has a heart-to-heart -heart with newcomer Ryan Choi, this new version of the Atom who's going to eventually come into Legends properly. And Oliver and Diggle return to an old, familiar stomping ground. I'm not particularly sure what that could be. And so the final thing to talk about in this video is some massive breaking news to do with Crisis. Stargirl, which was supposed to air on DC Universe, which is now going to air on the CW as well as the DC Universe, is going to be making an appearance in Crisis on Infinite Earths. This has come out just yesterday, and this is official news from an official outlet. So, holy crap. Stargirl's coming in the crossover, that was not expected, that was completely out of nowhere. Let me know if you're excited for that in the comments down below, I'm super excited. I reckon it will just be a cameo, but still very exciting stuff. So, that's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you're new, as we try and reach 100,000 subscribers, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.